In the world of big news, things are changing. So over the past few days, there has been a little bit of, I'd say gauged interest about a modding scene for a certain game that we have been praying would have a modding scene forever. And I cannot believe where it's like, oh, we're, we're actually getting there. So I retweeted this, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday. Weirdly enough, some, some of the interest had somehow been gauged a little bit because Marvel 3's modding scene is huge. And there's so many people making amazing characters for Ultimate Marvel 3. It's like, goddamn, man. And Marvel 3 is just a massive game now because of fans, right? Because of fan dedication. So Rin over here posted a picture and it's all like MVCI editor incoming. And it's like, Bruh. So here's the crazy thing. MVCI is a game that was not devoid of mods. It definitely had mods, but they were relatively simple, just m quite literally character replacement stuff. And there were, there were some mods that existed before, but actual tools and stuff like that? No, 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 no. The nice part about MVCI is that it's an Unreal Engine 4 game. So the amount of documentation, history, experience, and everything that goes into a game like that is substantially more profound than a game like Ultimate Marvel 3, where everyone's had to effectively reverse engineer how the shit works in order to make anything happen in Ultimate Marvel 3. You might recall I'd spent a lot of time in the past trying to make MVCI look better. I made videos on it. We tinkered around with the engine. We did some stuff and it, it ended up looking way better than the default MVCI project did. It kind of stopped there. As soon as it seemed that MVCI was sort of done, it was, it all the mod scene, like everything just sort of vanished. I'd say in around April to June, 2018, everything just sort of vanished. And it was like, well, crap. The people that love this game are just gonna play this game and that's about it. The people that enjoy playing it just kept playing it. And that is what it is. Luckily, MVCI isn't a game that needs like rollback netcode or anything like that. It just, it, it has good netcode, which is very nice. But that being said, um. Rin's got a lot of experience in modding. From what I understand, Rin was one of the folks that put together Goku and Strive. And we played that character. We actually were able to play Goku in Strive online against other people that, were, that also had the Goku in Strive mod installed. We were just playing online with them, which was crazy. So Goku was a functioning character. That's pretty cool. So already we have somebody that has quite a bit of experience in the field. Essentially just found something that looks pretty cool and I've been chatting with her about the, the quality of it. And it really got to a point where this, this is looking so good. I can't not pay you. She was always focusing on my feedback. Like we want to make this looking good. So already just within that period of time, she's done so much work on the engine that it is flabbergasting. Even the presence of it on Twitter, just re releasing images that could have been a possible MVCI that doesn't look super bad has inspired a lot of people. And I'll say this again and again and again, MVCI is not the greatest Marvel game, right? By any means, by any means. However, the Marvel vs. Capcom community is one of the most passionate and creative communities of people out there in the gaming space. And that is a testament to everybody that put in effort and work into the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 scene to turn that what it is into what it is today. It is truly incredible and remarkable what people did with their time and effort to turn that game into something that actually has a future and is still going to this day. We're still waiting on getting more Blade stuff because Blade's about to be fully playable. I recognize an opportunity here as a jumping point. I have been wanting MVCI to be the game that gets a little bit of attention from fans forever. Sometimes you need like a launching point. Sometimes stars have to align right now. And to be honest, there's a lot should have ha a lot of shit happening at the moment with the X-Men show reigniting passions about these characters and shit. And MVCI is clearly not that game because, you know, it lacks those things. But in my opinion, I feel like there is a pretty huge opportunity here to explode things in virality. Why do I want to do any of this? Why am I spending like thousands of my own dollars to effectively mod games that will never net me a return. I simply do it, number one, because I care, and I think the effort of a lot of people needs to go compensated in some way, and I have to figure that out for the future, especially because I feel like this MVCI project is something that I might want to helm personally. I really appreciate what Rin has already done with the existing elements and assets, effectively get something that is making me really happy. Just, we're sort of in tune with what looks really good in this game, and the good news is that it seems like a lot of other people are as well. 
So as I was saying earlier, I've had a lot of conversations of people that have suddenly showed up out of the woodwork. Folks that I will not be able to talk about probably ever in the future, but a lot of people that showed up and they're like, I want to help. I want to help. Can I help here? Can I help there? I want to do art. I want to do music. Like people started showing up. If I'm going to be like the director of all of this stuff, we're not going to release shit too early. We will not do that because I know how the modding scene works for games. And if you make something that effectively looks too good, you run into a rap battle problem. And I know that all too well. One of the first things I asked Rin in a very greedy request, I was like, yo, Rin, can you change this? <laughs> this is a fluffy thing. And this is a weird thing to ask chat. I was like, hey, can we change Jeddah's goopy purple bullshit to actually blood? Turns out you totally can. Cool. <laughs> that's a small one that's always very much bugged me. Jeddah will properly have his actual blood constructs that he has in this game. So the cool, you know, that's great. <laughs> that's, that's something that to me is a very easy fix. Also is something that effectively plagued Killer Instinct with another character that uses blood constructs that is also kind of jedi like <laughs> You know, that might be coincidence. It's little things like that that I think overall change a lot of the, the perception. So we have to make an update. This is all the work of fans. The reason why I'm a little bit more excited for the future of MVCI getting functional mods and changes one of the reasons I'm the most excited about this is because MVCI has great lobbies and it's got great netcode right off the bat. It is one of the better Capcom fighting games. That's a first party Capcom fighting game that has good net play and has functioning lobbies and shit. And seemingly based on the work that Rin did before that you might've remembered when we put Goku into Strive and that worked online. The reason that worked online is because the other players were in the same boat. The other players had the same mods. So what happened if everybody's, if everybody's files sync up, you could actually play online it's like holy shit this is really cool this is the same engine it's also rollback netcode there might be a future where if we get all these things functioning and working online even if there is like gameplay changes in the future holy shit bro yeah we'll have a pc version of mvci that runs online great and if everybody else has like the proper stuff when you make a room you just put like a note in the room hey modded and you can fight with people online and it'll just fucking work you don't have to parsec you don't have to do any of that shit that's that is Amazing. Let me just give you guys a couple of few updates in terms of my thought process behind this shit. If I if I really appreciate what Rin is doing, and Rin is the the backbone behind all of this. She's done so much work over the past 24 hours that it is insane. All the little nitpicks, like I, I feel like I'm actually a director here because I'm nitpicking several things and I'm like, we shouldn't be doing this right now. Like obviously not doing this stuff right now, but like nitpicking little visual things that will just overall make the presentation just look a little bit better. And I've seen so much MVCI that I have a pretty good idea in my head. Yo, dude, this is this is definitely how we change shit. <laughs> Gets a bit closer to what I want MVCI to actually look like. Just as an update, yesterday we had something pretty close to this. This is just over the span of 24 hours. We had something pretty close to this, which was uh, an art style, right? Oh God, uh, we actually have an art style for the game. So this is where we were at before and yeah this this is clearly getting there considering rin's talent and how much they know how to use unreal engine th the goal was ultimate marvel versus capcom 3 character art right the goal was to get something even better than this there were a few shots that were arguably like really good looking and we were we were getting to something that is like oh this is we can do this in engine this is great flash forward to i start to notice a few things that i really really enjoyed about ultimate marvel versus capcom 3's character art uh let, let's take a refresher of that marvel 3 character art does not look like the game <laughs> right to be completely honest umvc3 character art looks nothing like the actual game does but it has a very good art style this was our initial target render right so it's like cool this is still really hard to be fairly honest i think if we wanted to achieve something close to like 90 percent close to this which is arguably a, a sick ass art style this would take us about a month this would take us actual dev time if it was just Rin doing all the heavy lifting here. This would be a long time. This is a big ask and it's kind of an unreasonable ask in my opinion.
because it, it is it is just really cool looking. But I feel like there's a spot in between we can definitely hit. I'm happy to say that I think we've gotten there. Let's show off some progress. Right off the bat, the biggest problem of MVCI is overall art style and shaders. But clearly the backgrounds were, were a big issue too. So number one, we got to prioritize like backgrounds. This is some progress early on. This is literally from like nine hours ago. I want you to I want you to see how much progress Rin was able to make in nine hours. Some stages can look really good. In fact, uh, it's it's quite poppy. It's very good. It's getting a little bit of like granularity on the scenes that is that is a little rough. That makes it more look like a mod instead of something that is like really polished. However, there are other scenes that look amazing. Uh, Valconda is a great example. Ooh, this looks really good. So what is the difference between uh, a character, a stage like Valkanda and a stage that has not as bright tones in it? Well, these stages that is like a half and half where it's like, okay, we got a, a ton of light tones and a ton of darker tones. We're losing some visual information here. This looks really good, right? This looks really good, but uh, clearly we're, there's a lot of crushed blacks here in Spider-Man's tones and the stage. And that's not good. We're not there yet, right? We're not there yet. So I, I gave Rin a whole bunch of examples. I'm giving you guys a behind the scenes right now. Games like it as examples of like, oh, how does stage tone collide with character tones and what fucks that up? Like how, do, how does the readability work in a game like Marvel 3? And to be fair, Marvel versus Capcom 3 is not the bastion of um, fighting game visuals in terms of how the, the stage should look. It's not. <laughs> 60, 70% of the stages look bad. It is a dark game. And now you have characters that have no shit, black trench coats with black shadows, like ink black shadows colliding with other stages that are also at night and shit. You can't see dick. It is the reason why very few stages are played competitively in the game overall. I make some obvious notes here, just speaking on what I think helps some visual identity, and is obviously some comic book pop. Already there's some rim lighting going on that I really dig in, in these images. And we started tackling that right off the bat. And this is the best shot example. Spider-Man is getting sort of lost here, <laughs> getting very similar in tone to what's happening in our backgrounds. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So we have to do something about that. Rin is just a god. Like, we started just throwing shit around, and within, I think this was only two hours after that, just tossing around some ideas, we already get to something like this. And granted, this is going to be a little close to the art style of another game that is going to be coming out fairly soon, but I think is relatively safe and not super high effort, and it's something like this. So I really like the pinstripe look. I just love it. It's just, it's a comic book as fuck look, and... If we can control it in a way that makes it actually look good with proper rim lighting, then you could have a very poppy looking game. This is still MVCI, bro. Another huge shout out to Rin because Ryu's dirt ass face, which was not a good looking face in Marvel Infinite was not catching light correctly at all. This dude's face was like unable to capture light hitting his face and translate it in a way that makes sense. He's fucking butt ugly in the game. But Rin like remodeled his face to capture the light better. Has the know-how and experience from putting characters like Goku into Strive and several other Unreal Engine things where it's like, oh yeah, you know, let's just change that shit. It's crazy to have somebody that knows how Unreal Engine 4 works to a T where I'm just like, hey, can we change the color of the rim lighting? How does that look? And it's done in like 30 minutes. I'm like, dude, this is fucking crazy. A lot of this is custom from Rin, by the way. This isn't a shader that's in the game. This is all like hand done. Each one of these pieces and materials was like hand done to look this way. So it's looking mad clean. And we were starting to get to a point where it's like, even on the main character select, we got some, some bad lighting angles here, but dude, uh, we're getting there, right? This is clearly rough but we're getting there. It's a character to character basis. This is where I'm a little unwavering on this, where chat, I'm not going to rush this out immediately. And I don't want to, I don't want people to rush Rin immediately. I want us to find an art style that effectively feels good. And then we can start applying it to the rest of the roster because we're going to run into problems with the rest of the roster in terms of uh, visual appearance, right? In terms of the way shit looks. Just with some of these new changes, uh, yeah. Uh, getting some pretty good results. This is a low, it's like a 720p image here. So it's like, all right. And, and clearly the background being softened up a bit 
is uh, being not as contrasty, also holds a little bit better visuals where it's like, okay, all right, some things are changing and we're sort of getting there. I also make observation that like, you know, oh, we're getting sort of close here, bro. <laughs> In some way, we're working on the same engine with similar, uh, with similar ideals, but it was funny how we were effectively coming into very similar results in a sort of similar time frame. So this was unintentional chat. This is literally unintentional. Moving forward, because that's not it. This is only like halfway through the day. And then we start uh, adjusting all of this stuff because obviously our, our pinstripe effect is camera dependent. So it only looks really good from, from certain shots. And if you have the camera far away, it scales down. So it looks kind of bad. But, you know, as things are getting adjusted and moved around, this is without, with this, this is with, with very little adjustment. Uh, things are looking kind of cool, <laughs> right? Now uh, we're getting some crazy visuals in some shots that is like, this is starting to look really good. Some things are falling apart, don't get me wrong. Some things are starting to fall apart at the seams. And we, we kind of want to like take down some of the pinstriping because I think it's a little too distracting. But still, we're, we're moving in a direction that I think makes the game at least look somewhat visual cap visually captivating. Long story short, uh, it's like, yeah, let's turn down the more normal maps and see how good it looks. And here we are. Oh shit, now we have a hero shot. And this was the one that Rin showed, and this is the one that I made the announcement with, where it's like, I, I feel like we have a, a marketability now, uh, like an interest engager. Because if there's one thing that's really nice is that when, when people are working on mods for a game, you're able to capture attention. Right. This isn't especially about money or, you know, uh, budget or revenue. It's mostly about just getting passion on board. I feel like this was the shot that captivated everybody. After this shit came out, I started getting people hitting me up. I'm giving you guys these updates now because I'm probably going to be going fairly dark on this as we knee deep and figure out and just direct where I want the project to go to get the right people on the right spots to get the budget in the right area. Because now I'm super fucking excited where it's like, oh shit, dude. And this isn't even a 4K image, man. Like, it can, it can actually look even better than this. Rin is a god. Uh, the, the amount of know-how they have and the amount of things I was, like, shooting her direction, getting immediate responses to, absolutely wild. It's just absolutely wild how fast things were even coming online. I cannot fucking wait to see this over other characters. I can't wait.